Welcome to my CBC English teacher. Today let's look at the line by line explanation of the chapter Footprints Without Feet from Class 10 English. If you are watching my video for the first time, please subscribe. You can listen to the explanations of chapters from classes 10, 11 and 12 English. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. Let's move on to the video now. This story is written by Herbert George Wells. He was an English writer, prolific in many genres. He wrote dozens of novels, short stories and works of social commentary, history, satire, biography and autobiography. His work also included two books on recreational war games. Wells is now being remembered for his science fiction novels and is often called as the father of science fiction. Now let's move on to the lesson. This story is actually an extract from the book called An Invisible Man. Now it's an interesting story of a scientist called Griffin who was able to invent a drug on invisibility. Now after inventing this drug what he does is he consumes the drug and becomes invisible. Now after becoming invisible he uses his power to steal clothes, food, money, etc. and also kill people. So instead of using the power for good deeds, he used it for all the bad deeds. So now let's look at what happened in the story. So the scientist Griffin is now totally invisible and he is running away from his landlord from the house where he stayed. So he ran and ran and finally reached a house in London and two boys were there inside the house. And what they saw suddenly was a pair of footprints and muddy footprints and they were wondering because they could not see any person there, they could only see the footprints. What was a barefooted man doing on the steps of a house in the middle of London? So they wondered how come the footprints came inside a house and when they could not see any person at all. And where was the man? As they gazed, a remarkable sight met their eyes. So they were wondering how did the footprints come inside their house and when nobody was visible. A fresh footmark appeared from nowhere. So as they were looking at the footprints, they saw suddenly that again the footprints were appearing and they could actually see no man there. Further footprints followed one after the other, descending the steps and progressing down the street. And they noticed that the footprints were actually getting down the steps inside their house and it was going towards the outside, towards the street. The boys followed fascinated until the muddy impressions became fainter and fainter and at last disappeared altogether. So the boys were fascinated. They were so many, so much attracted to the footprints because there was no person visible so they started following the footprints and then the footprints started becoming fainter that means it was becoming lighter and lighter and finally the footprints disappeared so the explanation of the mystery was rather simple enough so what is the mystery behind this is very simple the bewildered boys had been following a scientist who had just discovered how to make human body transparent. So the bewildered boys means the confused boys. So they were actually following a scientist. So I told you this is the scientist who had made himself invisible and his name is Griffin. He had discovered a medicine how to make human body invisible. So he consumed it and he became invisible and he started running and he got into the house inside London. Griffin the scientist had carried out experiment after experiment to prove that the human body could become invisible. So this is a story about a scientist called Griffin who had carried out so many experiments and he wanted to prove that human body could also be made invisible. Finally he swallowed a certain rare drugs and his body became transparent as a glass of sheet though it also remained as solid as glass. So finally this man Griffin was able to find out a medicine which made human body invisible or transparent and so he consumed it and his body also became transparent and at the same time it was hard as well you could feel him physically. 
So brilliant scientist though he was, Griffin was rather a lawless person. So this Griffin was a very brilliant scientist. That means he was a hard working person. He did a lot of research. But at the same time he was a lawless person. So what is the meaning of lawless person? He did not have any regard for law. He behaved in a very violent and unruly manner. So that is why he was always called as a lawless person. His landlord disliked him and tried to eject him. So the owner of his house where he stayed did not like him at all because of his behavior and always wanted to throw him out of the house. In revenge, Griffin set fire to the house. So once what happened, he got very angry and he burnt the house down and ran away from there. To get away without being seen, he had to remove his clothes. So in order to escape from the landlord and other people, what did he do? He removed all his clothes and ran away. Although he was invisible, so nobody could see him. Thus, it was that he became a homeless wanderer without clothes, without money and quite invisible until he had happened to step in some mud and left footprints as he walked. So, this is how he became invisible and then he started running without clothes and without food and all that. So, he stepped on some mud and that is how mud got onto his legs and when he entered the house in London, he started making footprints of mud. So that is what the boys saw. He escaped easily enough from the boys who followed his footprints in London. But his adventures were by no means over. So he escaped from the boys but after that also many things happened. He had chosen a bad time of the year to wander about London without clothes. So the time he had chosen to become invisible was a wrong time because it was mid-winter. So it was winter time and it was very difficult to run about without clothes. The air was bitterly cold and he could not do without clothes. So it was very cold during that time and what happened? He was unable to wander about without his clothes clothes. Instead of walking about the streets, he decided to slip into a big London store for warmth. So what he thought, he decided that he'll go into one of the London stores and get some clothes and so that he would be able to make his body warm. Closing time arrived. As soon as the doors were shut, Griffin was able to give himself the pleasure of clothing and feeding himself without regard to expense. So what happened? It was evening time. It was closing time. But then he managed to go into one of the stores and he was able to get some clothes and food as well without paying any money because he was invisible and he was able to take anything he liked without anybody seeing him. He broke open boxes and wrappers and fitted himself out with warm clothes. So he broke things and he took whatever he wanted and finally he was able to wear some clothes and keep himself warm. Soon, with shoes and an overcoat and a wide brim hat, he became a fully dressed and visible person. So not only clothes, he also took some, a pair of shoes and also an overcoat and also a large hat. And he became a person who was fully dressed. The clothes were visible but his body inside was invisible. So he had to cover himself with the clothes. Now he was visible to all. In the kitchen of the restaurant, he found cold meat and coffee. And he followed up with meal with sweets and wine taken from the grocery store. So now, he, because nobody was there in the store, he was able to find some food as well, cold meat and coffee. And he also had some sweets and wine, etc. So finally, he settled down to sleep on a pile of quills. So after having his food, what he did, he went to sleep. So there, were a, there was a pile of quills. Quills are nothing but the, uh, you know, that keeps you warm like bed sheets. It will be very soft. So a pile of them were there. So he fell on that and started to sleep. If only Griffin had managed to wake up at good time, all might have been well. So what happened? He slept on and on till the morning, till it became late. So if he had woken up early and escaped, everything would have been fine. But what happened? He slept on. As it was cold, he did not. As it was, he did not wake up until the assistants were already arriving next morning. So next morning he was sleeping still, and before he could wake up, the uh, workers in the shop started to arrive. The assistants started to arrive into the shop.
when he saw a couple of them approaching he panicked and began to run so when he woke suddenly he saw the two assistants were coming towards the shop and he got frightened panic means frightened and he began to run because he wanted to escape they naturally gave a chase so these people thought that he was a thief because he was looking very strange and they started to chase him in the end he was able to escape only by quickly taking off his newly found clothes so in order to escape what did he do he just removed all his clothes and once again became invisible and he started running from there so once more he found himself invisible but naked in the chill january air so once again now he became naked because he removed all the clothes to become invisible because the people were chasing him so again he was feeling very cold this time he decided to try the stock of a theatrical company in the hope of finding not only clothes but also something would hide the empty space above his shoulders so this time he decided that he should go into a theatrical company what's it, what's a theatrical company that ha, that works has all the costumes for plays and other performances etc so he thought that if he go there he would get some clothes so that that will also help him to cover the empty space he's talking is the head above his shoulders so he wanted to cover that also so he thought he'll enter into a theatrical company shivering with cold he hurried to drury lane the center of the theater world so he ran away and finally he reached drury lane so that place is called the center of theater world that means there are so many shops that sell theatrical goods so he found one suitable shop he made his way invisible upstairs and came out a little later wearing bandages around his forehead so what happened he found one good shop and he went inside and he went to the upstairs of that shop and found whatever clothes he wanted so first he wore a bandage around his forehead and then dark glasses a false nose a big bushy side whiskers and a large hat so with all these things he was able to cover his face he had a bandage around his face so that that empty space would be covered he wore glasses he also fitted a false nose and side whiskers you know the side hair that is there so that also he added and he also kept a large hat to escape without being seen he carelessly attacked the shopkeeper from behind after which he robbed him of all the money he could find so what's the meaning of carelessly carelessly is without any feelings or regard that means in a cruel manner he attacked the shopkeeper and he stole some money from there eager to get away from the crowded london he took a train to the village of ipping where he booked two rooms at a local inn so what happened he stole money from that theater theatrical company and then he cruelly kicked or injured that person there and ran away from there and he escaped from the crowded streets in london and then he took a train to a village called ipping and in that village he booked a he booked two rooms at a local inn inn is a restaurant kind of a thing a hotel where people can stay the arrival of a stranger at inn in winter was an case of unusual event so for a visitor to arrive at a inn especially during winter was unusual because it was not the time for the visitors to come so a stranger of such uncommon appearance set all tongues wagging that means when people saw this man when he reached the village called ipping all the people were surprised to see because he was a uh, having such an unusual appearance you know he was wearing all the bandages over his face a big hat a false nose overcoat and you know everything dark glasses so it, he was looking very strange so when people saw such a strange man people started talking they wanted to know why he was looking so strange mrs hall the landlord's wife made every effort to be friendly so mrs hall is the owner of that inn where he had booked two rooms so she also tried to be very friendly to this stranger but griffin had no desire to talk and told her my reason for coming to ipping is a desire for solitude but then this griffin was not like other people he did not want to talk much so what did he tell mrs hall he told her that i came here only for solitude solitude is to be alone i do not want to be disturbed in my work and he also told her that i don't want anybody to come and disturb me when i am working 
besides an accident has affected my face and he also tried to explain why he had bandages on his face he simply told her a lie so what was the lie he said he said that my accident my face was affected by an accident i hope you like this video let's look at the next part of this lesson in my next video for more informative videos do subscribe to my cbsc english teacher like share and give your valuable comments below thank you for watching